Hello, my dear student. Once again, the team of ASS Science Foundation is here, and today we are with a very special story of the upcoming NTPC exam. So, guys, as all of you are aware, that uh, NTPC has uh, given the notification for the post of assistant officer environmental management. As you can see, assistant professor environmental management is the post, right? and the exam will be uh, supposed to happen sometime after the 26th of june was the last date is over and we are expecting within the two month of uh, time frame the exam will happen so let me tell you a few uh, minor details and then we will uh, move on to the syllabus of this exam as the ASS Science Foundation is offering a special crash course for uh, environmental management assistant officer, right? As we offer this in the last time also. So let me talk about briefly about this exam, few details. So first of all, this uh, post is environmental management officer, as I told you, right? So assistant officer is the position and let me tell you the age limit is 30 year. 30 year is the maximum age the people within 30 year can apply. And there is no relaxation. So no age relaxation with respect to gender or with respect to any specific degree. So no age relaxation is there. So the maximum limit is 30 year. Only the people within the age group of 30 can apply beyond that no one and the pay band the pay band or the basic pay it ranges from 30,000 in 1 lakh 20,000 these are per month right and uh, the other details are like if you have done a technical degree like BTEC in environmental engineering so then you need 60% marks in your BTEC for the people who have done masters or msc so m tech or msc people they also need minimum 60 percent marks in their degree in order to apply right and uh, the exam will be basically into two part as i say the there will be a uh, first uh, computer based test which we call cbt followed by interview like last time it happened Right, and a lot of candidate of ours were there in the interview. Right, so interview will be there after the return, but first stage is the return only, which you have to qualify. Now, let's come to the exam as far as the exam pattern is concerned. So, there will be 120 question in this exam, which will be divided into two part, and they will be mostly MCQ. So, there will be two part one is part A which will be judging your subject knowledge and part b will be for aptitude so part a will be having 70 objective questions which will be specifically for environmental sciences right you they will be judging your knowledge of environmental sciences right and uh, for like uh, part b we will be having 50 questions where the aptitude part will be there right so now let's move on to the syllabus because syllabus is quite important with respect to this exam as people have to prepare in a shorter duration of time so let's come to the syllabus so syllabus is quite a, a good one and it's like quite a technical sort of syllabus with a lot of theoretical stuff also in between so we have a unit on mathematical foundations, which will include the linear algebra, algebra, calculus, differential equation, probability and statistics. This will be one of the unit which will be there in your syllabus as far as the syllabus is concerned. Then uh, we will be having a syllabus, we will be having a unit on environmental chemistry. So you'll be having fundamental environmental chemistry, principle of water chemistry, soil chemistry, atmospheric chemistry. All these units will be given in detail with the lectures and the objective questions to the student. Then we will be having a unit on environmental microbiology, which is also crucial. 
so we will be having the prokaryotic and eukaryotic organism cell chemistry and cell biology microbial metabolism growth and control right this is the syllabus with respect to ntpc exam then we will be having a unit on a unit on water resource and environmental hydraulics where we will be having global water resource surface water resource ground water resource environmental hydraulics all this will, all this will be there right then uh, we will be having a unit on water and wastewater treatment and its management which is also in quite depth there will be having the uh, water treatment methods point and non point sources so all these things will be there then uh, coming next we will be having a unit on air and noise pollution which is also the part of the syllabus so there is a unit on air and noise pollution there will be having particulate pollution gaseous air quality management all these aspects will be there from technical point of view right then we will be having a unit on uh, solid waste management right solid and hazardous waste management where we will be talking about the management of the solid waste and the hazardous waste characteristics and all then we will be having a unit on global and regional environmental issues and a unit on environmental management and sustainable development so these nine units will be there in the syllabus of this uh, section a followed by we will be having a uh, section b right so in section b where the 50 question of the aptitude will be there right where we will be having uh, uh the numerical aptitude part quantitative aptitude logical and reasoning etc so aptitude part will be there right where we will be having the numerical quantitative all these aspects numerical quantitative right then logical reasoning also will be there and some part of the verbal also so all sort of aptitude will be there which will be a mix of what we have seen the aptitude in terms of the that exam as well as the gate es so this will be definitely the part of the aptitude part where 50 questions will be asked so it's a very good exam those who are uh, willing to prepare the institute is offer, offering a very comprehensive one to one mentorship and uh, uh, crash course where all the lectures will be co covered all the details will be provided and you can prepare uh, quickly within a given time of like 40 50 days whatever time duration is there right so and the fee also is very nominal uh, looking into that uh, the student of masters will be preparing it or btech people so those who are interested they can go for this and it's a good opportunity in the government sector after the masters or for the btech people so this was the information from uh, the foundation side for any clarification you can reach us on our youtube facebook instagram page thank you